Good morning, good afternoon, depending from which part of the world you are connecting to the Leti Device Workshop 2021. I'm honored to share with you the vision of CLT and some of our latest funding on the semiconductor trends that will support the sustainable deployment of operation of 6G wireless communication and services. My name is Emilio Calvinestrinati. I'm the future World System Scientific Innovation Director at CLT, the 5G star and the Rice G coordinator and the new CG Innocent Director. If after the presentation you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. SIGG will play a significant role in providing a nice infrastructure that will enable end users to perceive themselves as surrounded by a huge artificial brain, offering practically zero latency services, unlimited storage, and immersive connected capabilities. New services will be offered by 2030. For instance, five cents in traffic hologram technologies will teleport people from one place to another on the Earth. Why not support the connection for interactive uh, CG sky services too? Interactive optic communication or immersive interaction between humans or humans and machines, or even between artificial intelligence will eventually be possible. These new services will create new challenges for the technology and for the hardware, leading to a drastic increase of the performance needs. From a system level perspective, two families of key performance indicators, KPIs, are under discussion today for SIGG. First are KPIs that will ensure the conceptual continuity with previous generations. They will be also extended to potential applicability of a current generation for future services. This will require to set challenge performance enhancement request on the already envisioned uh, set of KPIs. Indeed, indeed, it will be possible to impose performance improvement of the order of factor 10, 100, or either 1,000. Such KPIs are, uh, for instance, the traffic capacity in terms of downlink, uplink, or backhaul, the latency, the connectivity reliability, and so on. With 6G, we will also be a totally new class of KPIs defined to support the connect a computer into training of artificial intelligence and networking, as well as the sanction of the connect a, uh, compute, cache, and control capabilities for non-terrestrial networks. Moreover, since the network is evolving to a network of inter intelligence, where communication is instrumental to the achievement of a goal or the realization of a task, thus the new KPIs must be defined in terms of energy per goal or inference reliability. While energy efficiency has already been a concern in previous generation, today with 6G, the sustainability of the technology, the network operation, the cost, and the electromagnetic field radiation are a major concern. This translates into several new KPIs addressing various levels of sustainability, including the hardware. The question now is how can we achieve such KPIs? What is the role of the new art design and new materials? There are three technology pillars for future 6G networks that strongly are impacted by hardware. First, the exploitation of new subterrest spectrum. The first natural solution and evolution of wireless communication systems is to provide higher communication capacity. This actually followed the mantra from Cloud Shannon, where actually capacity can be uh, enhanced by exploiting larger communication bandwidth. With 6G, this translates with targeting wireless capacity at the level of tens of terabits per second, and actually exploring a spectrum uh, on new frontiers between 90 gigahertz and 300 gigahertz, and even a higher spectrum like for a visible light spectrum. Second, the pervasive and omnipresent support of artificial intelligence for network operation and services, where artificial intelligence operate at the edge of the network to support effective operation of data tr uh, transmission over the air. This actually is an operational reality today with 5G and will be even more consolidated with 6G. In addition, 6G will also radically change the way intelligent agents, natural and artificial, can interact and influence each other. Instead of exchanging raw data, intelligent agents will share knowledge and communicate through meaning message, semantic message, 
that intelligent agent can generate and interpret. We see G will indeed experience the immersive fusion of cyber and physical spaces. Humans, things, and events will be turned into information, generating a lot of knowledge that will be shared and a large amount of information that will be uh, shared and consumed in the network. That actually will cause 20% of the world energy consumption by 2035. Third, CG will benefit from the new paradigm of recovery with intelligence surfaces. With new materials and new innovative design of massive recoverable antennas arrays, will enable to artificially control the propagation channel, open new frontiers for the dynamic management of resources, and also opportunity to reach and pretty low energy cost uh, for communications. Several speculative visions uh, are conjecturing today on what CGU service will be able to deliver at the Ryzen 2030. Nevertheless, the hard design process is at very preliminary stages. The reality today is that hardware, technology, and the new materials required for effectively meet the impressive performance targets required by CG and the networks have not been designed, tested, or even do not exist yet. Today, a solid vision on the cost-benefit trade-off on machine learning and artificial intelligence supporting the CG networks operation and this optimization is missing. This includes the possible support from hardware efficiency, operation effectiveness, and the immersible cost due to data acquisition, transfer, and processing. Our vision is that CG impose new classes of KPIs on hardware and technology. First, KPIs specifying the process, technology, and the requirements on hardware performance, and KPIs to support effective operation of the system level KPIs defined. We can divide the CG hardware into two intertwin inter classes, hardware for sustainability, which include the end-to-end -end echo design of the hardware, the energy efficiency at the hardware level, and diffuse hardware security include data collection, processing, and certification of autonomous decision at the edge. Then the next second class, hardware for high performance, following the trend of the wireless ter ter terabits per second, communication, computing of exaflops, huge amount of memory, and hardware flexibility for high heterogeneous devices and heterogeneous operation of environment condition, but also for lowering energy operation cost of 6G. On paper, from an information theory point of view, exploring the frontier of a wider bandwidth is the straightforward evolution path to follow. Let's say that more bandwidth equals more capacity. Operational reality is different. First, the spectrum should be available. It should be with propagation characteristic favorable for communication and for sustainable communication. But there is even more. Here begins the nightmare of hardware and technology engineers transforming a nominal potential into a harder reality. This is one of the reasons why hardware in 6G will matter. There are several issues to be solved. For instance, today we know how to prototype hardware at the low D band, indicated here in the figure as beyond 5G bands, and we, with acceptable energy efficiency, acceptable means of the order of tens to 20%. But going higher in frequencies, CMOS technology are not adapted to output the needed transmission power. B CMOS present very high cost, and they meet their energy efficiency target only up to 160 gigahertz. The challenge is severe when we target the IC designed for high power performance, including selectability, isolation, and also FMAX, among other targets. Then there is a dead valley between the 200 and 300 gigahertz. New transistor, new hybridation, or particularly uh, mixing materials to make the most of their in different advantages of compensating what is uh, the operational problem, a uh, challenge that we are investigating actively at CERA today. There's an additional family of issues. Transmitting at uh, higher frequencies, present losses in the connection between the RF and antennas. We expect a factor of 100 of losses between the current use 
millimeter wave frequencies in 5G and what will be in 6G. At SEA, we are investigating hard this design of integrating RF with antennas. AI is a computing intense. AI takes billions of operations and requires to store weights in memory, causing human energy consumption due to the required data shared among the wireless connected intelligent agents. The energy consumed to complete an inferior task is very dependent on the, how much data you have to move around, process, store, and retrieve. As so far, we are exploring hardware-aware intelligent algorithms to automatically estimate the capability of the transceiver hardware over which the protocol runs, that is shared, and then to configure a operation based on the hardware capability we are, uh, of interactive agents. Embracing analog design of significant low power, going semantic, sharing knowledge semantically to emulate how the, our brain works. New materials, new massive and flexible antenna arrays, and the new paradigm of reconfigurable intelligent phases offer to 6G the opportunity to artificially adapt the wireless propagation environment to, be, uh, to the communication needs. The goal is to create and shape on demand a red environment where the wireless propagation conditions are co-engineered with the physical layer signaling and investigate how to utilize the new capability offered by the reconfigurable intelligence phases. In this direction, SIA is leading and coordinating the RICG project. The project actually started in January 2021 and has an ambition to explore the fundamentals to enable wireless environment as a service and then to provide effectiveness and feasibility of the key requirements functions, including this hardware. Therefore, there is a potential of artificially controlling and shaping the wireless communication channel to support dynamic adaptation of future stringent and highly varying CG services requirements in terms of electromagnetic field emissions, localization accuracy, energy efficiency, secrecy guaranteeing, as well as legislation and regulation changes will incur minimal cost, compute, network reconfiguration, and redesign. CA Lady is actively participating to the race towards 6G. We launched in 2020 the new 6G initiative aimed to establishing a strong link between microelectronics and the telecommunication world. The new 6G initiative is exploring efficient solutions for adapting and exploiting leading edge R&D on edge AI, investigating on new hardware design and an innovative solution for effective intertwining of intelligence and cyber physical systems, security of infrastructure and the store, share and process information, new antennas and new materials, new network architecture focusing on operational optimization, and new hard design of integrated circuits, digital components, and to achieve low energy consumption while ensuring performance of high spectrum wireless uh, communication and computation. The trade-off between sustainability and performance. Investigating on sustainability semiconductor technology and inv investigating on new protocols. CG hardware matter. Let's shape together the sustainable and effective CG. Thank you for your attention.